I was sitting here one day, and I was like looking at the whatever you call the miniature guitar. Ukulele, I think. Ukulele, ukulele. Is that what it ukulele. Is? ukulele. Yeah. yes. And I was like, dude, this is like a piece of wood, like just, you know, like a, a material that we use for all kinds of stuff. And, you know, anyone can grab that and start just making like random sounds. But there's people that they have this very specific skill that they can grab that and make shit sound good. They put like yeah. one sound after the other and fucking create music. Imagine the first person saying, to figure bro. out like notes and shit. Bro, like it's wild. Like, like just imagine first like first putting strings to together, together, bro. Together. Like, you bring Tighten. you bring this around like a, a group of people. Like all you need is one individual that you know has a skill to play it, and it can change the whole vibe of like yeah. and, like just make you a whole just different make vibe. Shit sound really. good, bro. Or like sitting around the fire pit and just like having See, that's when someone that's to do fucking it. good at it. Just yeah. start playing it like it's so fucking awesome. The money spot. <laughs> yeah. Bring that to the money spot. Bring it to the fucking spot. I was throwing dots to you the other but day. Like bro. I said, it's it's a hard skill, dude. You gotta practice a lot. Um I I don't know about you guys, what's what was the curriculum here when you were like young in school, but you know, like throughout elementary, like we had music classes and um every year you would progress into a new instrument you know and the last uh i think it was fourth grade it was the last uh grade that was mandatory and it was a guitar it was the last one so we got like you know to learn the basics but whole class was doing guitar yeah yeah see Sick. i never did any of that i just did recorder like we did we used, like yeah we played, we played yeah. flute flute was the one of the first ones flute, like i didn't even get to do flute flute would be sick recorder was stupid yeah as fuck. and it's funny because you know like you do that shit for a year, so you learn, you know, the basic song or something like this. So, like, you know the basics. You know, you know what each sound is, like, what are the notes. But, yeah. dude, to actually be good at it, oh, my God, it's so fucking hard. And one of my best friends from home, his dad, um, just an unbelievable, talented musician. He was actually in the, the Voice Plus. They did, like, a The Voice uh, for older people. Um, oh, okay. Is that where like they turn the chairs and shit? Yeah, yeah. Um, like the plus is like addition for you know older, elderly. Elderly, elderly, it, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's kind of sweet. And he was there, and it was uh, it was awesome to watch him play on TV too. But dude, like, you know, like I said, it was my best friend, so I was around him a lot, and we would go to like his ranch and stuff. And he's like, he can sing, he can play. Dude, he plays everything. And like, like I said, when you have someone with like such good skills on that like it's you're like oh my god dude this yeah. is like unbelievable that's why i want to do that like i would feel like i never actually was like as a kid i was never like all right i'm gonna learn to play the guitar or some shit like all the other like kids that would do that shit but yeah music's i would definitely crazy. i feel like that would be fun as hell yeah to once be able i get older i'll probably bust out the guitar to... like with a bunch of friends and yeah, start guitar. playing shit that'd be sweet yeah I, I didn't i didn't appreciate music um uh, until until i got older like, like growing up, you know, American music's popular all over the world, and we would listen to, you know, American pop in the radio, and I'm vibing to it, but I don't have a fucking, I don't have a clue what, what the words are saying, really? or, you know, like, so oh, they play not a clue, all... not a clue, yeah, <laughs> they play. Would those and... be some of the biggest songs in Brazil? Oh, 100%, dude. How long did it take you to learn, like, English? Yeah. A long you had time. no fucking. You had no clue, like. Dude, I'm you're... just vibing. Like you'd pick up one word every every <laughs> yeah. other sentence, but like you're just going with the B. And is know, that like, how yeah, you were first rough. doing it? Like you were just kind of listening to what other people say, or like you? No, were I'm just to, saying like, like just just shit. listen to music. Period. You know. So mu you're saying music is what got you to speak English? No, 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 no. Uh, music can be a great way for you to learn the language. By the way, um, you know, because you get to listen to that. You know. with the various accents and the slang and all that stuff. So you can learn a lot, yeah. like a language by music, but I'm saying just the fact of, uh, that I was listening to American music, not understanding what was, you know, nothing that it was saying. Yeah. And then once I got older and I started like, you start re-listening to some stuff and you start understanding the lyrics, you're like, oh my God, dude, this is like, has a completely different meaning yeah, than I ever imagined. Yeah, right. And like, I'm vibing to this <laughs> shit. Like, like how my parents no allow me to listen to this shit, you know? Like, they have no clue either. 
So, uh, yeah, it's very, very Can your sp parents speak English now? or? Yeah, I mean, they're all, they speak English. Uh, have they been able to speak it since you were young? Or? Yeah, yeah. Like, like fluently? We would, we would travel to the U.S., you know, they were doing all the communication. Um, yeah, okay. I wasn't definitely able helps if you guys all didn't know. Yeah, I mean, that. my English is definitely better than theirs nowadays because I've lived here oh, for, yeah. you know, a certain yeah, amount yeah. of years. But, um, like, they speak good enough that they, you know, yeah. communicate very well and get their way through. Right. But, uh, man, language is just, it's just practice, just like anything in life. Mm -hmm. But sure. I tell this to everybody, like, you want to learn a language, of course, you want to, you know, take classes and learn the basics. But you got to go somewhere that speaks that language to actually become fluent at it. Um, like you were saying, you don't right? have to go there, but that's the easiest way. Right. You know, like when I came to the U.S. as a foreign exchange gotta, student. You have to learn it like, at that point. Yeah, because right? like my example, you know, coming to the U.S. as a foreign exchange student, my English was not good at all when I first came. And my friends that I met at that time still roast me till this day because of my English, you know. Uh, literally, <laughs> shout, so shout, out to, shout out to all my you Indian friends. Like, Y'all only motivated me to get better <laughs> because it's, uh, <laughs> like, you're just, you know, into the culture and you're forced to speak it and you go to bed thinking in English, like, you know, thinking about the conversation you had, like, and people correct you that's a great thing because you know you learn to make mistakes and then you go to bed thinking into that stuff and you wake up and you're forced to speak it again and throughout the whole day you like you're constantly having conversations with different people and you know sooner or later your brain gets like it takes it takes days weeks for your ears to get acclimated to like i go through that every time i travel back and forth from a mm -hmm. woman here uh, just you know what's the Auto, what's automatic in your in your, uh, in yeah. your brain like when I go back to Brazil it takes me a couple days until Portuguese is like you know what's coming out automatically Naturally, out of yeah. me because sometimes I'm having a conversation with a friend and somebody distracts me from it and I start speaking English to them and be like, like not even noticing even yeah exactly <laughs> I'm like, like oh my god to understand it though like a different language what do you mean rather than speak it I feel like it would too, to understand what yeah. you're saying. Oh, for sure, for sure. No, it's definitely yeah. easier to understand than, than to speak. It. It's just like I'll. They would even they would talk to me in Portuguese and I'll respond in English, not un, not even knowing that I was like making this this switch. <laughs> wow. Like like I was in Portugal just now, and of course we speak Portuguese. Yeah. And um, in our group there was only two people that were Portuguese speakers. There was me and another uh, girl from Brazil, and. Sometimes we would be having conversations in Portuguese in between each other, and somebody would jump in the conversation, and I'll start sp speaking Portuguese to them, even though they have no clue where we're talking. I'm like, oh shit, dude, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you're just and like, you say I'm sorry. It's sometimes English, just so automatic, you know. <laughs> sometimes it's just automatic. So, <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's crazy. Boy. And to think about it, like, I don't speak two languages fluently. You know, there's mm. people that speak yeah. ten I languages, even imagine. like. Think about that. Imagine them like going it's back and crazy. forth with different people speaking different exactly. languages. Exactly, it's like fucking in a, crazy. In an area where like there's people where different fucking speaking I remember, different languages, yeah. they can just go back and forth on like ten different languages. That yeah. is crazy. Man. Yeah, definitely. If you if you you know grew up in a country that has multiple official languages, that definitely helps a lot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like in Canada, if you're anywhere near Quebec, I feel like you damn near can learn French pretty easily. Yeah, I mean they speak French pretty much. Yeah, everywhere Quebec. in Quebec. Yeah, yeah, the whole the whole Canada. province is uh, yeah, uh, the, the, French, the French speaking. I think, yeah, Quebec is like pretty much all French speaking. I think. The entire province is. Yeah, I actually got That's... to meet some people from Quebec uh, recently, and uh, I'm actually trying to learn French. And it's funny how how different their French sounds from the, you know, French from France. It's uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just just like you know the English kind of... from the U.S. and Great Britain and oh, yeah. Portuguese from Brazil oh, and Portugal. Yeah. There's like so many different, different accents in uh oh, in Britain too. Yeah. Not even just UK, like actual like Britain the country. Like there's like oh from Scotland, it's just Scholar different areas that Bro, are not the, even the that Scottish, far away. The Scottish English, as people say, it's like one of the hardest English to understand. Oh yeah, Scottish for sure. Never been there, but it's what I hear. Scotland be sweet. 
But, like, even in, like, the some of, like, I don't know if they call them cities or provinces in, in the U.K. Or not the U.K., Great Britain, just the country. If you're, like, going, like, UK, 40 UK minutes. UK is a country. United Kingdom is the the whole alliance, you know. Oh, all yeah, the four yeah. countries involved. Northern Ireland, so Scotland, Wales, and England. Great Britain is the island of the Great Britain. Yeah. And then but you England wouldn't say Scott. Is, you wouldn't say each one was a country in itself, no. It's such a touchy That's what subject. I've weird I, they, about. I've never. I feel like <laughs> if I say Scotland, like Scotland's a country, but they're also in the. U- don't don't quote me on this, but the people from England consider everybody part of the UK, but people from Northern oh, Ireland yeah, or, like, or Scotland and Wales, they kind of they want more of their independence. You oh, know, yeah, they want to yeah. be. Like they want you, you to know that they're, they're from the UK, in, yeah. but they're like from Wales or they're from like, yeah. this is fucking Scotland. Exactly, like, exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, they technically, go, yeah. there's a lot of countries that still go under the United Kingdom: Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Technically, te- technically, I was gonna say what? Technically, but in practice, it doesn't it's not how it happens? Yeah, that is weird to think about. Yeah. Like when Queen Elizabeth died, you know, all the Canadians were butt hurt and shit. Like, come on, man. Dead Canadians. <laughs> they want to get into Canada. I was uh, I was watching to uh, uh, Tucker Carlson on the Nelk podcast. Oh, he was bashing Canada. Oh, dude, it was it was so podcast. funny. Yeah. He was it was it was actually a really thing. good pod. It was, it was a really good pod. It to was watch. a good one. He uh. Watching and he was ta- he was saying like first of all Canada is called Canada. Yeah, I think it is. And Ottawa it is. is Ottawa, not Ottawa. Yeah. Ottawa. Ottawa and sounds Canada. like some Avatar shit. He was he he wasn't even just <laughs> yeah he was saying that name and he was bashing like saying like the matter of fucking Bay is damn near all of them. He was going at him. No, he was he was. I mean, Justin Trudeau is a fucking dude. Trudeau's a fucking. <laughs> He's a goddamn idiot. I'd rather not talk about politics, honestly. Yeah. There's just too much BS involved in there. Hell yeah. That's true. But uh Canada's a beautiful country. Huge. Absolutely huge. I'm and right next to Canada, I've never been. It's yeah. like on the east side of the state. Pretty wild. Go no. right next to Canada. You, you go to Detroit, you cross. Yeah. I've never been to Canada though. Yeah. I've been to one other country, it was Jamaica. And I've never been to Canada. You Make should. them sweet though. You got a passport, right? Yeah, I have a passport. Yeah, you should go to Canada. Go. Why not? I, think- I got the passport, though, right, like, the first time I got the passport was to go to Jamaica um, with my family. You guys went just to Jamaica? Flew there? Yeah, we flew there. Um, Kingston? I forgot where we flew into. I think we flew into Montego. Montego Bay? Yeah, but I, we drove a while to get to, um, shit, where was it? You got a napkin in your It was, you um... A napkin? You like a tissue? No, you want like a motherfucker. Fuck, what was it? Montego. Montego to... Appreciate it. Um, the Grill. That's where it was. I mean, the, the, the resort was called Beaches and Grill. And it was really nice. The beaches were... How long were you there? Crazy shit I've ever seen. We were by there about five days. Fun. And, dude, the water was... I've never seen a beach like that. I probably never will see a beach like that again in my life. Oh, it was trust me, you will. Chiefful. You will. Where? Where? I mean, there's obviously a lot of nice beaches, throughout, but throughout Jamaica the whole, was, the whole, the whole you, Caribbean is beautiful. Like, bro, yeah. there, there's so many beautiful coastlines in the world. Like, too many. Too I feel many. like Greece would be sweet to go to. The, the whole Mediterranean coast. The, the whole Mediterranean, Mediterranean coast, coast would be nice. I've never been on a country, man. I told Mahalik, like, bro, we gotta, we gotta do a Croatia tour, dog. Oh, man. No, Croatia, the uh, those Croatia yacht, they do those yacht um, parties, right? That are huge. Like, people from all around the world go to those shits, I think, yeah. right? Millionaire shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. One day. Yeah, that'd be that'd be sweet. Yeah. Bring my own yacht, sail it all the way to Croatia through the fucking to get to the Mediterranean. We're talking languages, but the English in Jamaica is something. Oh totally yeah. Different too. Yeah, the funniest thing was just. Um, you been to Jamaica? I went there for one day. I took a cruise, and the the cruise stopped there for a little bit. And, and you were you were at a resort staying there for a second? No. Or you didn't was, get off the boat. I mean, we got off the cruise, and then we had the whole day to spend out there yeah. and come back later in the afternoon. Well, you probably stayed near resorts, I'm assuming. Oh, for sure. I mean, because uh, you can't. So the cruise, it... the cruise, you know, stops in a in this huge port, which is completely secluded. Um, 
And then from there, you had like all kinds of options of stuff to do for the day. So you could go to waterfalls, you could go to the beach, you can go to, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. And uh, we were a group, and the group decided to go to the beach. Yeah. So we took a little van, went all the way to Montego Bay. You were in Montego, yeah. Montego yep. is nice too. It was like an hour to get there. Uh, the port is a little outside of it. Crazy thing is when they drive you to, they drive like nut jobs. These oh, people drive dog. fast we as got, shit. Like we round literally, and corners. dude, it's almost all like the entire van. The, and the <laughs> roads are all like yeah. wavy, crazy. Like they don't even give a fuck. I and mean, then the third, people third are driving country, like crazy. It's you know. Oh yeah. Th- thankfully, I'm really used so to it. The, but so another thing, I driving on the left of the road. Yeah. Driving on the left yep. side. Just like I think it's yeah, every I'm other never country. gonna forget this shit, bro. Because I had my eyes down the road when this happened, and I'm sitting in the back of this van, just looking down the aisle. And this dog starting to cross the road. Yeah, and the guy it. and the guy sees the dog and the dog starts to go back. Bro, he swerves from the dog. The whole van goes like it felt it felt like he got on two wheels when he'd like <laughs> oh. <laughs> And we're all like, oh my you don't god. Go, you don't want to touch the dogs there either. Those things are probably Dude, I'm sorry. sorry you, I love babies. dogs, but Oh me too, but I'm not going near those dogs in Jamaica. I'm saying you gotta if 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 you're if you if the options are Run the dog over, or cause a massive accident with people in a van. You're, 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 okay. you're taking the dog. Especially you want to taking the dog. Even with how much I love. But I have a so crazy story in Jamaica when I went there. First day we got there, um, my dad was like, "Oh, we got to get a um, we got to get a coconut, like a fresh coconut. We got to figure it. it out." And we're on the resort at this point. We're trying to look around. Hey, fresh coconut. And there's people that um, are not from the resort, but they're allowed to kind of be on the beach. And um, but they're not really supposed to kind of mess with the people on the resort. But they can be on the beach. Yep. So this one local guy is like, um, I don't know how we even got in contact. But we're like, oh, you need a fresh coke? Oh, I got you, man. I got you. No worries, man. That's what they all say. But so he starts taking us down the beach, like super far. I'm like, oh, we're probably going to the end of the resort or something on the beach. Um, and dude, he just kept going. And we're like, all right, whatever. He's like, no worries. It's right here, man. Starts taking us into the main roads. Like, into, like, Jamaica. Like, off the resort. Mm-hmm. We're off the resort at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. And um, we're barefoot. Literally barefoot. Like, we have no shoes. This dude's walking smooth. Bare- barefoot. He doesn't give a fuck. But he kept saying, oh, it's right here, man. It's right here, man. Um, he brings us, like, another 10 minutes into Jamaica. Like, walking this. Like, but it's... This is like a third world. This is fucked up country. Like yeah. you don't want to, it's not safe. And this dude, so and um, my dad was starting to get like, all right, this is kind of fucked. But we kept going, and um, like the dude was nice because he want. He, that's how they all are. like, oh, it's all good, man. And my dad's like, oh yeah, it's good. But if you touch my kids, I'll fuck you. Like say it like on some regular shit. Like if you touch my kids, I'll fuck you up. He's like, oh, like <laughs> like the way it was like it was so oh. weird. But like he was just saying it like that, and he brought us to this dude's house. Bunch of locals. Like, just Jamaican locals, which is a regular house. And um, these this dude comes out with, like, a machete. Big-ass machete. I'm like, oh, fuck. Just <laughs> chopping got... coconuts. Yeah. So, um, and be- even before that, he was like, oh, I look at him. I got my uh, ganja tree. He's talking about a marijuana tree. And he's like, he was trying to show it off and shit. And we're like, oh, sweet. He gets us a coconut. He sure as hell, he got it to us. I don't even remember. We paid him a little bit. And we're like, all right, let's get the fuck out of here. We go back to the resort. The dude went back with us because he was kind of always on the yeah. beach. And he was trying to be our boy for the rest of the trip. But yeah. That shit, was, that shit could have been dangerous. Like, now I think about it. He just wanted that could have been U.S. Sucked. dollars, you know. Yeah. So. But now I think about it, they could have easily been like, all right, we'll fucking take a machete to him and try to rob him for everything, you know. Because, like, dude, they don't give a fuck out there. Like, in Jamaica, they don't. They, it's fucking terrible country. Not, like, just real shit. Just how it is in the actual off the resort, like I mean, they won't be to afraid be honest, to rob most, an American. Most of, the, most of the world is like that. Yeah, but that was pretty crazy. Life outside of the U.S. is uh, very different than most people think. They, they don't understand how blessed they are to live in this country. Yes, it's so true. People are so blessed. They have some. They try to find shit to be like. Whoa, whoa. And the what, worst what is, is you, so you, terrible really, about this country? Really like, they, find shit that they, they find shit that's not good about the country. Yeah, and really, there's so much to be thankful for. And obviously, it's not perfect. You're not gonna be never enough a perfect country. Absolutely. No, there's a lot of different shit going on right now, though, that is not happening in other countries, though. Such as like the ch- trans shit. Yes. Some yeah. countries. If you go to a, if you go to like, a country in Africa and talk about like banning it, talk about like oh the people. Yeah, uh, they, they think you're fucking making. They start laughing. Bullshit. I saw a video. Yeah. They're like, "What the? We're the only country that a complex subject because every individual is different. You know, there's people that 
they can do their gender trans uh, transformation and you know live their life without a problem without you know causing harm to anyone else but at the same time there's some people that you want to fucking implement their shit into their six-year-old child that has no clue I'm saying. what life is, you know? They think they're a goddamn superhero or a dinosaur. Though. So so how are they fucking... They're not going to know. They're like, oh, I'm a dinosaur. And like, well... You can you guys, say, like, oh, you're a great little dinosaur. Have you guys but, like, heard Jordan you're not. Peterson talking about this? You said what? Have you have you heard Jordan Peterson talking about Oh, all yeah. This? I listen to a lot of Jordan Peterson stuff. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's, I don't know if it's this exact topic. He's really but... good. Oh, you should, you should listen to talking about this transgender topic. He has pretty strong opinions about it yeah and um i'm not gonna say i agree with, it, with everything he says but he put some really good points out there that uh should be taken in, into consideration yeah uh the fact of like this being like kind of a um a mental disorder and he explains you know why he thinks it's that like mm-hmm. it's it's pretty convincing so I have to agree. I don't even need is. to be convinced. Like I just, I just think it's what should, it is. Like literally, you should, you should listen to him talk about it. Like I, I don't, I don't like to go over this stuff because, like I said, I believe that you should have total control of your body and your life. If you're 18 years old, you're a fucking adult, yeah, dude, and yeah. you, you literally like, as long as you're not causing har- harm to other people, you can do whatever you want in your life. Like I don't care what drugs you do. Like if you want to change your body however way you want to make it like cover way you want to make it look like it's your problem but once you bring that shit into other people like then it's when you start having issues yep they're trying to influence it on social media dude nowadays yeah. it's like i mean so let's be honest social media is low-key becoming a joke but there's a lot of good things you know i think there's a um the reason i stepped away from social media a little bit just spending way too much time in there looking up to people that looking up to stuff that's not really attainable um and even though there's a lot of great information in there like like as a new source or all kinds of stuff people only really publish the best of their lives you know nobody posts like you know there's a very fake sense of reality you know life life is not always yeah. you know fucking Holding hands on the beach, watching the sunset. You yeah. know, there's there's bad shit that happens, but no one posts the bad shit. So, um, half it's because they're like, oh, I want to post this and act like my life's so great because they see all these other. Yeah, but like, who gives a shit, people. dude? Who gives no, a shit what I, your life looks I, like on your phone? Like, it, yeah, like all, all it matters is the fucking the person that you are when right. you're having a conversation one on one, just like we are right now. Yeah, you know, like, and that's what I'm saying. The influence of it is like. They'll it's be like, huge. oh, I see it's all these huge. people. And I, I was... see all these people doing all this stuff. I might need to be like, oh, look at how great my life is, just so I can show that I'm like these. But you like, it's not even a... that shit shouldn't be a competition, like, because it's not real. It just became a, such a huge market. You know, there's so many people that make so much money out of social media nowadays. It's unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. Oh yeah, and great for them. The ones that figure it out and are making money, fucking awesome, dude. Like, I hope y'all, you know, love what you do. I hope you're making good money doing something that brings pleasure to your life but there's so many people that just waste so much time of their day just looking through bullshit TikTok, stuck yeah. Dude, I, stuck in the matrix TikTok, man, I I can't just spending it. spending money on stuff that's like you know doesn't bring no positive positivity to their lives uh, yeah I'm glad I never downloaded TikTok. That's one I never got into, Dude, and I'm proud of. That's my only problem. One, I'm not even on a lot of other ones anymore. Sometimes I'll just like scroll through stupid videos. Yeah. I mean, it's funny, but like again, like I realize I'm going through it, and I've been like, it's been like sometimes, sometimes it's just it'll be, like, automatic. Five minutes. I'm sometimes like, just automatic. Jesus. You you just touch that touch that app, and the app yeah, pops up. That's why I realized too. If I if I'll sit down, like if I get back from working out or going to like anything i'll lay in my bed or like and i'll just start scrolling i'm like dude what the f-? and i realized it. i'm like dude i gotta you ever set a time li- time limit no but I, pe- I heard people do that and i you should i might start doing it you gotta respect it though you can't ignore it yeah that is true because <laughs> you, 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 gotta... you could easily get into a habit of ignoring it you're just like oh it's kind of like uh yeah. like oh, when you see the 20 percent just 20 tw- percent battery like that how you more quickly minutes. press it it's gonna be that same thing but i can't yeah. make that happen i got rid of instagram 
my account's still out there, but yeah. I don't have the app on my phone. Yeah, I'm not uh, really on Instagram that much. And I, the only reason I was back on Twitter is because of recruiting again. But yeah, Twitter's different now since Elon Musk took it over, which is uh, for, yeah. the, for the greater good. Yes. Allow people to have freedom of speech again, which is huge. Yeah. <laughs> it's some funny. Crazy, I saw him, there's some crazy shit on Twitter. I saw him. He had, a, he had an interview with Tucker, and he was talking about like um, Tucker was like, "Oh, you got rid of like eighty percent of your uh, employees." He was like, "Well, a lot of them left like kind of voluntarily, but yeah, like eighty percent of them I had to fire some eighty percent from what they had before was gone." He's like, "Oh, what, really?" And then uh, Elon was like, "Yeah, it turns out you don't need that uh, that much to run Twitter if you're not running a uh, glorified activist." Um, media site like that's what you're saying is like a media activist or like trying to censor people you need a lot of people if you're trying to censor people or find certain shit you definitely um it's 100 percent my fault is that zero yeah boochie boochie yep yeah it's, i fucking closed the door on accident which Locked one the outside one i got you, you got it yeah yeah i got it i got you we rolling the whole time yeah we've been rolling this whole time up in the pot. Yeah, yeah uh, I've uh, I've asked him a couple times. He doesn't seem to be very hyped about the idea of doing it. Do you think you know why? I was drinking half that gallon of water. Oh, no. and I don't. Because you probably just asked him about Bama. <laughs> I, w- I would. ask <laughs> tell him about the Bama, stories. 100%. I would 100. Yeah, like, that that would be like in. the main topic of the subject. Oh yeah. Dude, like he what? He's got he, some stories to tell. Dude. He was in the quarterback the room. Champion. He, he was, yeah, not only a national champion. He was in the quarterback room with Tua, Mac Jones, and Bryce Young. It's a hell of a room crazy. right there. All three first round picks. Yep. Two first pick. Yeah. <laughs> We're all gonna be starting Get him out of here, bro. Yeah. I told him I'll get him. Probably him and uh, just like yeah, they're all pussies. <laughs> 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 I'm like, all right, yeah. Bryce Young's a fucking. No, he actually said he was uh, pretty good friends with Mac. Mac? Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I bet he was a funny dude. Mac definitely gets after it. I, t- I told him, like, hey, if you, uh, I'd love to do a pod, you and Mike, you know, you guys are married. Was he there with Jalen Hurts or no? That was too early. No, that was the year before he got there. He Mike said, who? Mike, my roommate. The Sublease and Boom. Oh. <laughs> got he just got Michael. Time. Mike. Michael. Michael. Great guy. Nah, I fuck with Mike. Come He's a funny dude. I've had a couple conversations with him. He seems cool. That's what I'm saying. I want to get him on, you know. Any like, you, got, you guys are my roommates, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get you guys on at some point. Yeah. Any Picanha tea? What about the Picanha? Any Picanha? You've been making Picanha recently? I do have a couple Picanhas left in the freezer. Um, I'm running out, so I can make a new order. But, um, yeah, yeah dude. Up, bro, at the, the money spot. You got a little portable grill? No, we got the fire. <sighs> you got to have a mean fire. It's some hot coals. We had a f- mean ass fire. Those coals need to be piping hot, though. You got to wait for you the fire like to a little thing die down. Like a little... It just needs to be the coals burning it. Yeah, you also you also need something to put, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. a grill like a or something. Tray or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need, you need a little equipment to do that. Put the stick with the... Fire. We can figure it out. I mean, we cook. We've cooked out there a couple times. Uh, Macker used to bring his. I feel like grill. that's the only thing missing. Macker. Like you're there for so long, and you're just like, this place is sweet. But you I just gotta get prepare. Hungry as fuck. Dude, you just gotta prepare. First of all, you should you should eat a full meal before yeah, you I go. Had, I had a yeah. full meal. I brought a lot of snacks too. I was prepared. I didn't bring snacks. You didn't bring, bring snacks. Shit. I didn't bring. You brought two bananas. I brought four A two in the car. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Need the micros. You See, always got to take the alpha. Yeah, man, the you, just, you just got to prepare like you're doing, you know, like. I took the white You're going to be out there for hours. So. And brought some, some micros. Some Who'd you take out there? The whiteouts. All of them? Not, not all of them. I think it was it was me, Lonnie, Cam, Malik, Hank, Elliot. Everybody went Big for the tone. first time? Big Tone, yeah. They Big fucked tone. with it? Yeah, they fucked with it, bro. It was, it was kind of a cruddy. It wasn't the best day to go, but it was still. It's the money spot. Yeah. Yeah. It was still a decent. Spot. You let him know. You let him know who uh, who showed you that. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's tea spot. <laughs> I got I got to take you guys to. Uh, Dude, that's like spiritual. Was it reassurance. was it called the money spot before Peyton started calling it that? No. I was gonna say because when What'd we were there. It? Van Buren. Van Buren. Van Buren. Yeah. 
Because when we got there, Pete said that like a hundred times. It's the money spot. It's the money spot, man. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Van Buren State Park, man. It's a fantastic spot. It is. It's an unbelievable amount of people live in Kalamazoo. They have no clue that that place exists. I enjoy the walk. And it's walk, literally, bro, it's 40 minutes from here. Yeah. You get out there like this, and you have a blast. Yeah. Um, but you guys got to start trying the new spots now. The one that's beady spot. the beady spot. <laughs> um, and I, then you got to take you guys to Mount Micro and uh, Saga Talk. <laughs> Mount Micro. Mount Micro hey, was awesome. Hey, you were describing that, 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 that was hilarious. That was crazy. No, that story... That story was. I'm, ne- I'm up, never gonna forget that day. Never gonna forget that day, dude. <laughs> just like sometimes you just have these crazy experiences that get you know encrypted into your mind. That's gonna be there forever. <laughs> yeah. But um. It was crazy. Yeah. It's definitely some spiritual shit that happens when you go to the. No doubt. That spot. No doubt. You guys gotta. Um. Yeah, these next couple months, you gotta try to make as many lake trips as we can yeah oh yeah well the summer's here for sure for sure it's gonna be 80s next week man pretty exciting wait i'm on the pod right now okay, yeah i'm on the podcast i don't even think it's kill who is that it's cal what cal it's cal breeze what's cal doing i gotta get oh, cal in just... here too i tried to do one yesterday but we got busy watching uh cocaine bear which was actually a very, hey, how, very yeah. funny movie. Dude. Was it funny? Dude, it was hilarious. I actually fucked with it. <laughs> it was uh, Keyshawn, the yeah. VTAC transfer. He was the one showing to us. And <laughs> Is he living here? <laughs> for for a little bit until his oh, okay. lease starts, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So who's living good here dude. right now? Good dude. Good yeah. dude. I fuck with him. He seems cool. I haven't really talked who's to him living here right now? I mean, it's been me, Stone, and Mike. That's why I said I got to do a pod with those two. And, uh, and I, yeah, Keyshawn, you know. Did you ever do one with Wenzel? No, I also told Wenzel I got to get him and Jake here. I swear Wenzel told me you were like doing one. He said he was saying too much like crazy shit and you like took it. I don't even. Oh yeah, cool. yeah, oh, yeah. Oh no, th- this he is told a me you were saying some wild <laughs> shit and then like you just ha- you couldn't do it. No, so this and is I'm like, like I hundred percent. This get is the it. day. This is the day that we did the very first cast with Harry Tay and Sanders, and uh, we did it. And then we went out, met all of them downtown, yeah. and then on the way back. Wenzel came here as well, <laughs> and we're like, "All right, let's 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 try to do this again in a drunk edition." Oh, but that man. one was never going to be released. Uh, it was who was on the drunk edition? The... Just it was that... just me, Harry Tay Sanders, and Wenzel and joined Wenzel us. Joined. Oh, dude, it was like honestly, it was so much funny, but I I just can't do it. Oh, I still have it saved. That was a good podcast. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Oh, I need to see that. I need to see that. I'll, one. I'll show I'll show, it, I'll show it to you guys. That is funny. But yeah, uh, I looked over. we were just uh, just went over thirty minutes. Um, we went over 30 minutes already? Dude, flew the by, huh? Fuck. Flew Five by. Five. That's what's I'm fun, just... man. You just start talking, you know? Mm-hmm. Conversation flows, and next thing you, you guys know, are talking about some world minutes. shit. I'm not too familiar with that shit. I don't, I don't you gotta get started traveling, man. that shit, bro. Yeah, I gotta start traveling. Same here. Yeah. Anything you guys wanna share before I conclude this? Man. Like what? Like Anything you wanna promote? Promote? Be watching number five next year, catching <laughs> balls. The boy's gonna be going crazy. <laughs> Big five three. Big duel out there, bro. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, man. There's a guy's team now. Yeah. You guys the old crazy. boys in town. I came here on my official. This is my first spot. Ain't that crazy? Went by like that. That's wild. Yeah, hey, I remember that. Fourth year. Oh, that was a fun that was weekend. A, hey, that was such a good time. That was a fun weekend. It's yeah, crazy how fast. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. That was, uh, that was, like, my first time, like, I didn't have a host, but, like, you know, yeah. we had three, four guys here in the house that were hosting people, so. I had Sanders. Um, yeah. No, that was awesome. Sanders awesome, was awesome. Bro. That was a good dude. That was a good time. Yeah. But, yeah, dude, you guys have been here for, what, three, three years now? Three years. It's about to be my, we're about to be our fourth year. About to be our Shit fourth, flew fourth by, season. huh? Dude. It's crazy, Ridiculous. Bro. Hey, How make, fast? I mean, make, I got two years left, so. Make the best out of it, dude. Yeah. You're gonna blink. These two years oh, gonna be gone. I know, and... bro. I know. So true. Hell yeah. I already know. Yeah, man. Uh, memories don't last for a lifetime. Just uh, yeah. If there's any any advice I can give you is uh, keep in touch with these people. Yeah. Like after you guys leave, because uh, you know, after college, everyone starts you know getting into their own lives. 
getting married, having kids, and it's uh, it's hard to devote the time for your friends. So, you know, sometimes a quick call, a quick text, uh, just to check on them makes a huge difference. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You never know when someone needs your help. So uh, No doubt. Yeah. yeah. Gotta water those relationships no for sure, because it gets harder. You gotta put the effort in. Yeah. And you know, it's... It's, um, when I was doing my, like, this road trip a couple weeks ago, and I was coming back, I decided to go through my phone's contacts and just start calling people that I haven't talked to in a long time. And, um, at first I was like, it's gonna be weird as shit, like, you know, calling these people. Yeah. Literally haven't talked to in years, and I was three calls deep, I was like, dude, this is not only easy as shit, it's actually super fun. Yeah, yeah. you end up like, talking to him for so bro, long. Bro, time was flying by. Him. Like my drive was going by smoothly, and the amount of people that actually get so happy just for getting your call is like, oh my god, this is so unexpected. Like I'm so right. glad you called. Like it's awesome. It's awesome. So um, sure. I definitely plan to do that more often. Yeah, so. sure. Dude, you remember? You know what I always think about? Remember when I uh, I left the team and came back and kind of gave that little speech? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what you said? Me? Do you remember what you said after I finished? I'll never forget it. That's something I always remember. I don't. Because I thought I thought like I thought everyone was gonna be kind of like you know this guy's like what the fuck like, yeah kinda, like pissed yeah. at me you're like I love you Booch that was cool as fuck bro my dog you love, said that that was love. cool as fuck right you after know, right after I was done speaking the T was the only one that said something bro I, always I remember as you were walking back yeah yeah bro, yeah, yeah. yeah. I honestly dude there's like it. there's moments there's so many meetings so many times that someone's went up there to speak that I had someone to say real quick that many times I held back and then I'm just I regret not saying it because we've been so simple yeah just to say like a quick sentence you know um nah, that shit don't mind, bro. yeah and like like i said i'm glad i did it because yeah. no, I re- i'll remember that for the rest of my life bro i swear that's awesome and you know i wish i did that more often like i remember when jeff stone had his uh, uh retirement speech i should have got up right there and was like jeff you're a legend and you will be missed like that simple. Yeah. Like just, yeah, he's been there forever. Dude, yeah. dude was there for thirty five years. Yeah. So many people have been retiring, uh, from you know, high, uh, like from the business college, from the athletic department. Uh, a lot of older folks are retiring, which is you know, time comes for everybody. But uh, it's life, man. On to the next. Yeah. You know. Sooner or later, you guys are going to be out, getting out of here, too. I don't mean, know. It's still crazy to think yeah. about it. Three down, two more, bro. It's like, where exactly. are you? Make the best out of it, too. I can make the best out of it. You could, yeah, you could do three, bro. Yeah, we'll see what happens. See how it pans out. Go crazy. Yeah. Get that schooling done, you know. Play ball while I still love to do it. And once time to move on. You know, walk away, yeah, your on, head up high, onto the next. Yeah. Onto bigger and better things. Right. There's much, much to life other than football, so. Yeah. And you only realize that when you step away from it. It's hard. It's hard to notice when you're like, you know, into when the that's grind that every day. day in, day out. Yeah. So. Dude, it's gonna be a wild time, bro. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I still love to do it, and that's why I'm going to play, you know, one more season somewhere else. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, very sad to be leaving all this behind. Look at this. All these made, people. Made by Tiago right here. <laughs> this yeah. is the shit. I mean, this is all materialistic, you know, but like the the people, uh, that's what matter the most. The but, kind of uh, in here. Exactly. Right. And as sad as I am to be leaving all this behind, very excited for the next chapter. So. Oh, yeah. Right. You got these to look back at, too. Absolutely. And that's the whole reason why <laughs> we're doing these. That's right. the whole reason why we're doing these. Well, boys, it was, uh, it was fun to do this. Yeah, bro, I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. we'd love to do it again if we had a chance. Oh, no doubt. Appreciate you guys coming. See? Awesome, man. Always. Yes, sir.